Hello everyone and thank you so much for stopping by the channel. My name is Talisha and I also go by Creativity by T and in today's video I am going to be sharing with you what I have been working on in my sewing room and that is my second entry or make for the hashtag BHM Pattern Designers Challenge. If you don't know what that is the BHM Pattern Designers Challenge is a challenge that has been hosted by Natita of So Natural Dame and this is the sixth year of this challenge and I will link to the first make where I go into all the details about it but in short the challenge goes on for the month of February which we are at the end of and you were to make something by a black pattern designer and today's make of the day was designed by Norris Danta Ford and I use simplicity 9897 if you don't know who Norris is he is the husband of Mimi G he has been working alongside with her and he makes designs that are really unique and trending patterns. He also provides sew alongs for his patterns and he also provides sew alongs for Mimi's as well. And he also does like great videography for himself and Mimi. He's made some really, really great reels. So definitely check him out. All right, so on one of my videos, I shared this pattern along with two others that I wanted to choose from to make something and many of you voted for this particular pattern. And the other pattern that came in close was the button front pattern. Um, but believe me, you will be seeing that even though I didn't make it for this challenge, you will be seeing that button front pattern. Now I decided to go ahead and go with this pattern because of what many said, it just made perfect sense. Which was, I am still able to wear this now because it's still cool and it's easy to sew because it has like a few pattern pieces and I thought about that at the time and I agreed okay I just needed that little push from all of you who voted so I thank you thank you thank you to everyone who responded to that video so back to the pattern this is such an easy fast and comfortable make okay making this was just the boost that I needed to get my sewing motivation back and I just find it very interesting how a person like me could be obsessed with sewing you know I watch all the sewing videos I look at sewing patterns I why just all oh, sewing everything but I still needed a boost to get on that machine and make that happen so again thank you but this was the boost that I needed to get that motivation back and I was able to cut this out on a Saturday night and then I woke up Sunday Sunday morning and I went ahead and just sewed it up I then later wore it out and it was windy outside it wasn't too too cold but it was cold enough and with that cold was wind but this fabric right here and I, we will talk about it in detail later gave me the coverage that I needed and this garment gives I mean it's just such an amazing you know piece of comfort clothing okay and I was not cold at all and if you didn't know the oversized look is trending right now and I got so many unexpected compliments about this oversized sweatshirt I, I i i just wasn't expecting that and not only is this just an oversized sweatshirt it has pockets pockets okay so let's go ahead and talk about the sewing process and my experience while making it and you do want to stick around to hear all of this because there are a couple of pointers even though this is easy there are a couple of pointers that you may need before to need to know I should say before making it okay so again this is simplicity 9897 and the pattern description is unisex pullover oversized raglan sweatshirt and it has rib trimmings that includes two length variations but I didn't use rib trimming and we'll talk about that later there are again there are two different views and the difference is going to be the length and the fact that there are pockets on one view view a is a shorter length with no pockets and view b is a longer length with pockets which was a surprise for me because I didn't know that on the onset and there is a sew along for this sweatshirt pattern and Norris is sewing up the shorter length in the video which does not have pockets but that video is available for the view that I made obviously I made view B which has the pockets and it is the longer view 
I made this view because it's unlike anything else that I have in my wardrobe and also because it would use up all of the fabric that I had decided on using which is this fabric right here and if you don't know I prefer to not have any fabric left over after making a project because then I have to figure out what I can make with it so that worked out perfectly so the fabric recommendations are going to be a stretch knits only such as double knit fleece ponte sweatshirt knit and tearing knit. sewing skill levels is easy and it is super duper easy there are seven pattern pieces for this sweatshirt pattern but only six if you prefer to not have the pockets to cut the pattern pieces i did have to open up the fabric all the way and bring the fabric to a fold on both ends so just imagine the fabric is laid out completely like this and i had to bring each salvage into a fold into the middle so that i could have folds on both ends okay that is the only way you're going to be able to use the recommended fabric amount and still have enough for the actual sleeve um, which is something you don't always have to do most of the time you don't have to do that I will enter a photo of how that I did it so in case you didn't understand what I just described so in this clip you can see where I took all of the fabric and folded it on both ends and the salvages are in the middle so that I can have folds on both ends. Now for the notions, the only notion needed is going to be your thread. There is no hemming involved with this because all of the raw ends are finished with bands, which is a bonus. The pattern sizing comes in extra small through extra extra large. The size that I cut uh, was the medium because the medium gave me 10 and a half inches of ease in the bust area um, I am a 45 at the bust and the size medium has a finished bust measurement of 55 and a half so any size that was bigger I would have been swimming in it but I wanted to make sure that I made it and wore it the way the pattern was designed to be worn and I wanted to look like how Mimi and Norris looked on the cover of the pattern so that is why I went with the 55 I've made oversized shirts with size 52 and I thought oh my god this is so big so I knew 55 would kind of give me that slouchy oversized look so with that being said i do feel like it looks like the drawings or the pictures on the pattern cover and you know the way it was designed to be the instructions were easy um but i didn't need them because i've made many tops that are similar so i just remembered but i did look at the sew along um just to see you know and kind of give me some motivation like i said i look at all the sewing things not just youtube videos of different you know makers but i also watch the sew alongs and i will say that after reading the instructions which i read after i made it and looking at the sew along the sew along is much better and i feel like it's a much faster process so if you're going to make this and you're not familiar with how to construct a garment like this look at the sewing along and you'll get it done faster than the instructions so what I loved about this uh, pattern is I love this nice baggy oversized look and that it was like something I don't have in my closet yes I have sweatshirts but I don't have oversized sweatshirts and I certainly don't like have pockets in my sweatshirts um, I love the ease of making this and the like I mentioned the pockets 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 I didn't dislike anything about this and as far as new techniques I will say that in the sew along, Norris talked about how he cuts off an additional one and a half inches off his neck band pattern piece. So he doesn't actually do it to the pattern piece, he does it to the piece of the fabric. So he cuts an additional one and a half inches off of the neck band fabric pattern piece because it helps to make sure that it lays flat. Now I knew that you should probably cut off some so that it won't be floppy and stretch out but I didn't know like the magic number of where you should start you know I was just kind of guessing and trimming down as needed so now I know one and a half inches to start and maybe more depending on the stretchiness of the fabric he mentioned that if you are using a rib knit rib knits usually stretch out any more even more excuse me and he uses maybe up to two possibly three inches um, 
but for me i just cut off the regular inch and a half because i use the same fabric for my neck band as i use for the actual shirt and that is why i like watching sew alongs because i I usually always hear some type of nugget of information that is useful and helpful and that is the first time that I actually got that magic number but I didn't have any first time experiences so for this fabric I use this olive sweatshirt fleece that feels so so good feels way better the regular sweatshirt fabric okay it's very buttery and smooth and yeah it almost has like a velvet type of look to it i don't i don't know it just is it's giving me so much life but here it is i originally purchased this fabric to make sweatpants it was a butter egg pattern after seeing andra from andra makes show them on her channel but i never got around to it the seasons change and you know then the fabric was sitting but it was the perfect amount of fabric for that butterick pattern and then when i looked at the requirements for this pattern it was the perfect amount of fabric requirements so i went ahead and just decided to use this so i will say that i've had a little success story because i was able to shop my stash <laughs> now it was originally purchased from joanne fabrics but they don't have this color on their site anymore i did check because i wanted to link it in the description box below they do have other colors but um, just type in sweatshirt fleece if you were looking to get some of this and as far as any alterations or changes i made the only change i made was i did top stitch the armbands and the waistbands the pattern only mentions to top stitch the neckband but norris had mentioned all three as an option on a sew along and honestly i've done it before and it looks much much better i don't think i got a close-up picture so i'm going to show you here so this is the top stitching of my armbands this is the top stitching of my neckband and then for my well it's not a waist because it's so low but then for the bottom this is the top stitching as far as any modification recommendations um yes i would just say do the same because it makes your garment looks a lot more professional when you have top stitching and I just think like I said it looks much better and I have a, also a suggestion with the pockets I would suggest that you bring them up about an inch because they do sit very very low and I feel like it feels a little awkward and because they do sit so low when I put my phone in my pocket which I do have a heavier phone it's the iPhone 14 Max Plus Pro whatever it's called but when I put my phone in the pocket um it would show past the actual waistband and i do have on the longer version of this you know pattern but yeah you could see the phone like hanging from underneath so i'm thinking of maybe tacking that down but as long as nothing heavy is in my pockets i usually don't see that happening because it, the fabric just kind of clings to each other but that is an issue um for two reasons the pockets the, number one i feel like it just hangs too low like for putting your arm in it and then number two it hangs too low for things being put inside of it so definitely bring it up at, at least an inch okay the availability this pattern just came out this year in january and it is available at joanne fabrics and on the simplicity website possibly in hobby lobby so now i'll go ahead and share with you a few more pictures and clips of me and my sweatshirt i paired my sweatshirt with my aeroplasto ripped mom jeans and underneath the mom jeans i have some camouflage leggings on because it was pretty chilly outside and it matched pretty well for my shoes i have on some blue converse because they match the whole outfit 
all right so overall i think this is a great pattern and i think you should add this to your stash because you will certainly get some wear out of it especially if you experience cold weather or if you just like to you know lounge and clothes like these and like i said i got a lot of compliments um i styled it the way you see them in the pictures because i was running around afterwards and i tell you i walked into my parents house um because i needed to go uh pick something up from the house and my mother happened to be there at the time and she said oh look at you i love those oversized sweatshirts and when i walked in there you know i, I knew she was there because I, I saw her vehicle i had my pattern just happened to be in the in the bag with me because i was had finished taking pictures you know and so i threw the pattern out at her she's like ah you made it <laughs> She was like, I'm definitely getting that pattern. She said, I like that. I like that. So, yeah. But anyway, just thought I'd let you know that little story. Because, you know, it kind of <laughs> gave me some pats on the back. <laughs> so, please let me know what you think in the comments below. And make sure that you go ahead and take some time to look at some of the other different makes for this challenge. Okay? You can see all of the lovely entries by following the hashtag BHM Pattern Designers on Instagram and finding the hashtag here on YouTube. And like I said, you can see everything that has been contributed thus far. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what I'm getting ready to say. Please take a pause for the cause and click the like button and the subscribe button and the gray notification bell so that you can be notified of future videos. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to all of my new and returning subscribers for your support. And I will see you in the next video which will be really soon. Bye!